I'm Zach with Jimico Marine, and with me today is Gary from HWH Electronics, and uh, we're aboard this 80-foot Lazar that was manufactured in 1998. And what we're accomplishing on this trip is to take the original ISIS monitoring system out and replace it with an Airmar smart boat system. Uh, so if you're not aware, ISIS built monitoring systems for a lot of different vessels. Uh, there's a few thousand in production, uh, but it hasn't been kept up with. So a lot of these products have been you know, discontinued or you can't find replacements. So as failures occur, uh, it's very difficult to get a system online again. Uh, our smart boat package allows users to interface to existing uh, equipment that's on the vessel without having to tear the whole vessel apart. So when you would see an ISIS system, you know, they're really common on vessels from, you know, anywhere from what, 40 feet? Uh, probably about 60 feet to 100, over 100 foot. Yeah, so 60 to 100 foot. Uh, and again, it's a really one-off solution that was built specifically for each vessel. Uh, with our smart boat system, we can get in the boat with a generic platform, take these existing sensors and make them work with current electronics, which is a huge deal. So if you're a vessel owner or a vessel captain and you want to get an existing vessel monitoring system current and use it with your new NMEA 2000 network displays, the Airmar solution is a great option to keep the expense down, to keep the complications down, and just overall have a very smooth construction process in the retrofit environment. And talking about that, Gary, what really prompted the customer to, to use the smart boat package? Well, since the boat is a 98, um, the system is original from that time frame. And systems are no longer serviced or in very limited quantity, and he recently had a failure. So that prompted him to want to modernize the boat um, to a newer system before there is actually a complete system failure and now we have a modern integration monitoring system on the boat for his travels. So part of what we're converting, you know, there's a lot of systems on this mm -hmm. boat, uh, you know, like bilge pumps. So what are some of the other systems that we're monitoring? With well, we're pump? monitoring all the batteries on the boat, so all the DC, um, elect electrical, we're doing door sensors, bilge pumps, um, engine data, um, a huge list of uh, water tanks, fuel tanks, pretty much a lot of the basic house or critical vessel systems. Yeah, so if you were to try to do this with other components, you know, and, and other manufacturers, you'll be using a, a very broad selection of modules. Uh, where with the smart boat solution, you can get a lot of these systems into one box. It greatly decreases the cost of the system. And, and I mean, did you see that when you were doing the installation? I think with the cost, it made a difference, but definitely with the installation, because we were able to use a lot of the working sensors that were on the boat already, where the uh, Aramar smart boat modules allowed us to have multiple inputs which cut down on the number of boxes or components we need to use and mount in very small locations. Awesome. Um, so cost-wise, but then installation, it did help that, um, that we can accomplish it with a lot less modules. Awesome, so we're gonna take a look at what HWH has done for the installation of these smart boats. They've done a wonderful job. Uh, as you can see, the boat is in the process of reconstruction outside of just the electrical systems. So we're gonna take a look at some of what's going on on this boat give you some insight into the programming involved and just take you through the entire process. Uh, Gary, thank you, buddy. You got it. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. for working us. Today's retro fit market is thriving. Today's boaters are very eager to modernize their displays, either with newer technology, larger screens, or a combination of both of those things. And what we really excel in with the smart boat solution is taking these analog sensors and converting them into digital. Uh, and even taking the digital sensors from J1939, from engine information, all the way down to J1587, and getting that over to NMEA 2000 as well. So what are some of those analog sensors that we're really focusing on? It's gonna be pumps, tanks, fuel values. Uh, it's gonna be, even with some of the older technologies, with some of the GPS values, uh, we take the heading data from 0183 into NMEA 2000. Uh, so there's a lot of things that the smart boat solution can provide. And just the way that we can have 
a existing retrofit and take it into a modern platform really sets us apart. Uh, and you know, just to highlight some of what we can do, we have a, a couple of MFDs online right now, and we've taken these analog sensors and we've converted them, and now the customer has access anywhere on the vessel uh, to this information, which is extremely important. Uh, previously, they had dedicated screens. They had a dedicated platform, and if anything happened to that system, then they were in the dark as to what was going on. But now we can take this information and we can share it anywhere on the boat and eventually off the boat. So as we move forward, we're going to show you how some of these sensors go in, how some of that programming is done, and really the benefits that takes the Airmark, Airmark solution to the next step. So we're going to take a second and we're going to look at what HWH has put together. Uh, they've done a fantastic job and just really highlight some of uh, what we like about their installation and how the uh, ASMs are connected into the vessel. Uh, it's just a really unique installation and they have some really great ideas on how these things go together. So if you want to step inside with me here, we'll take a quick look. And what they did, and again, just a great job, is they installed the modules on a panel and then the panel to a DIN bar, which then slides into the, uh, into the cabinet. And it just makes the installation so much easier. And again, they did a wonderful job with this. We still have some cleanup to do, but it's coming. Uh, we have our inline terminators by Actisense, and, and they have the status lights, so we know everything's powered and it all looks great. Uh, our DIN rail comes off the ISIS system, and what HWH did is they labeled all of these individual wires. So we have bilge pumps, we have lights, uh, we have door contactors, we have engine data. Uh, temperature probes, I mean anything that was on that ISIS system and it can be, it's very expansive, uh, is being monitored by this smart boat platform. Uh, and there are multiple of these boards that are spread across the boat depending on uh, what systems they need to cover. So again, just a very great installation uh, and just makes things super accessible. So very happy, uh, very good with what's going on and we'll take a look at some more later on. So we're going to take a quick look at what Smart Boat can give you for diagnostic purposes. Uh, there's a lot of functionality built into this box that will let you see the network, interact with the network, and really just a unique way of validating that information is there and where it's coming from and what it's doing. So let's jump right into the software and, and, and get started. So on the main page, once you connect to the module, uh, you're going to be able to see uh, the runtime, the module name, the friendly name that you give it, and what those functions are. So with this module, it is one of uh, over a dozen that are currently on this Lazara uh, that's converting this ISIS network. And this, is un this unit is acting as a bridge. So we can take a quick look at the network. And it's going to give us, once it loads, it's going to give us a full view of every device that's running through this bridge. Uh, and really, again, what separates this is how intuitive the interface is. So we have the devices that are on the primary bus, the secondary bus, and also the messages. So historically, with other gateways, in order to see uh, you know, what messages are online, you have to either click on the device and you know, go through two or three steps, or you have to sort through multiple pages what device is transmitting what data. So with this application, if we wanted to see tank data or weather data, we don't have to sort through each individual value, which as you can see, uh, there are a lot of them, right? So we have two pages, we have 113 unique PGNs being transmitted on this bus, uh, but we can go in, we can hit a search block, and this search block is unique to SmartBoat, and uh, it's part of the SmartFlex software. So we could type in a value, and let's say for engine data, 127489. So we type in the PGN, and it tells us we have engine data. And you can hit that engine, and there's all your data. Now, the engines aren't currently running, but what you're seeing is the values the engine is, or, you know, will transmit. And once the engines are online, you're going to see that real-time feed pop up. So we want to also see, so we saw engine data, we want to see tank data. So we're going to type in fluid. And the fluid level, it'll give you every value that is tied to fluid. Just pops right up. And this is what's on the primary bus. 
on the secondary bus, you know, it's going to be the same function there. As this is acting as a bridge, uh, you have engine parameters, device, batteries, heading. So, you know, you think that there is uh, weather data that's supposed to be online. Well, let's, let's take a look. So there's wind data, right? So it's weather, but we didn't know exactly what it was. So we just use a resource, you know, it's wind, it's weather, it's, it's tanks, it's fluids. You don't have to know the PGN value. And again, as a diagnostic tool, you can sort through this really quickly if you just have the term in mind of what it's called. So a very strong utility found within SmartBoat, that searchable field, nobody else does it, and it's unique to SmartFlex software. So again, just a very high level overview of what this system will offer you and how it can help really show you what's going on on the network. So we want to thank HWH for having us come aboard. Uh, it's a great installation. We've got a lot done. You know, there's a lot more to do, but we, you know, just by being here and seeing what these guys have, have put together and, and how we've taken this analog ISIS vessel and turned it into a smart boat enemy A2000 vessel, it's just going to help us move forward with our dealer base as we do more of these projects. And, and we've done a few so far, but this has been one of the funnest ones we've had. And again, just thanks to Gary, uh, David, and uh, Tommy, and Atticus, all the work these guys at HWH have put in. You can see it in the installation. It's just a very good job. Uh, and again, Gary, do you have any thoughts about the installation so far? No, I think things are going well. We got some more programming to do to button things up. And I appreciate the support that Zach, uh, Gemico, and Airmar have given us. And we look forward to doing some more of them. Outstanding. So if you have any questions or comments, Feel free, go to jimico.com. If you have questions about ordering product, again, it's on our website, uh, brochures and specifications on the Airmar website. Again, jimico.com, uh, send us an email, website, give us a call. We're very glad to help. Gary, thank you again, buddy. I appreciate it. We'll Thanks, Zach. Touch.